Hello friends, it's Monday. I'm Lisa, this is Marvin. Marvin and I were outside today and we noticed there were all these beautiful butterflies flying around our backyard. And so that got us to thinking, didn't it Marvin? Yes, it got us to thinking about making butterflies that maybe we could keep inside our house. So what you will need to make some paper butterflies, you'll need some paper. You'll definitely want two different colors if you want a really colorful butterfly. And you'll need some black for the antennae. You will need a stapler, some scissors, something to trace with, a toothpick, some glue, and you'll need two different size tracers. I just went into the kitchen and I found two different size plastic containers. I thought, hmm, I think that'll work. So I'm going to move Marvin over here on the side so that he doesn't get all dirty. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my tracers and I am just going to go ahead and trace that circle around on one piece of paper. I'm going to take my other tracer. See, I traced it on there. Now I just need to cut both of them out. All right, so these can get put on the side. We won't need those anymore. So you have two different circles. And what we are going to do next is we are going to fold this circle in half so it makes a semicircle. And then we are going to fold it in half again. And so it looks like this. And then we are going to do the same for this orange one. We fold it in half to make a semicircle, and then we'll fold it in half again. It kind of looks like a little fan or something, doesn't it? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these two semicircles. See how it's rounded on one end and flat on the other? I want to take both rounded pieces, and I want to have them meet up at the top, and then I'm going to staple right where it folds in half. So I'm gonna staple right at the top, right where it folds in half. Can you see that? There you go. Now all I need to do is just open it up. So I should have four wings. It already is starting to look like a butterfly. Look at that. Now I'm going to use my black piece of paper and I'm going to cut out a long strip of paper and fold it in half for the antennae. And I'm going to glue that onto my butterfly. Let's go down into the crease, put some glue. All right, now you might be wondering, Lisa, what do you need that toothpick for? You told us to get a toothpick. Why do we need a toothpick? Well, we're going to use our toothpick and we're going to use it to curl our antennae. We're going to take our toothpick and we are going to place our black paper over it. And then we are just going to roll the toothpick and when we let it go, we have a little curl. So I'm gonna do that again with the other side. And this can be a little tricky, friends. So that's okay, you might have to try a few times. I know I had to. There we go. I like to take mine and I like to glue them together. You don't have to if you don't want yours together. So when we're done, we have this beautiful butterfly. Now Marvin and I made some other sizes so you could see as well. We made like a medium sized one using red and yellow. And we also made a little bitty one using pink and green. Marvin and I hope you have fun making your butterflies. Maybe you can decorate your house with them. Remember to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn for more great seed fun. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.